Welcome to the Book Boyfriend Podcast, where we dish on everything from the alpha male to the sensitive soul. If you found yourself lusting after a fictional character, you've come to the right place. Here's your hosts, Faith Andrews, Elizabeth Grace, Livia Jammerland, and B.A. Wolf. And welcome to another episode of the Book Boyfriend Podcast. I am super happy to say that we are here with the very, very, very talented uh, Jana Ashton. We have just finished her book. Um, the first one in the series is wrong, but we read right um, because Elizabeth said it was amazing. And so we read it and Faith unfortunately can't be here with us today, but she devoured this book. And so we would like to welcome Jana. Jana, thank you so much for joining us. So let's get to the Q&A. Um, or before the Q&A, we have this thing called the sweet and suck. Uh, a, f- a few weeks ago, we did this book boyfriend after dark episode where Elizabeth introduced the sweet and suck. You tell us what your sweet of the week is and what your suck of the week was. And Jana, would you care to share with us what your sweet and suck is? Oh my God, I'm so bad at that. Okay, so I have to come up with something that was good this week and something that was bad. Yes. Um, I convinced myself that my cat had ear mites because he held his ear sideways for like an hour. I'm obviously a hypochondriac cat mom. And so I called out like this home vet because I didn't want him to be inconvenienced and have to go in the car. So um, they came out and they're like, yeah, your cat's perfect. And I was like, all right, that's... Fantastic. That's fabulous news. Wait, yeah. first, can I can I say that I'm glad we're actually talking to a fellow like cat mom because all the other girls in the podcast, Jana, are dog. They have dogs and dog lovers, and no one. I like dogs, but I'm a cat mom. I have two cats, and nobody else can like understand my love of cats. So when I talk about the cats, they're all like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Like they, <laughs> like no one's really interested. But I'm not like, that crazy. I um, it's kind of embarrassing. I sh- probably should not go on and admit this, but so my cat, one of them, has an Instagram, and oh, um, yes, I know I followed him because at the end of the book, you put his Insta. I'm like, I'm totally following him. Yeah, I totally outed myself. I think by the second book, I was like, I forget it. I'm a total cat nerd. Here's my cat's Instagram. That's it. So I have all these like cat friends. It sounds so crazy. I shouldn't say it out loud. So I have cat friends. Like I have this circle of cat people. <laughs> I can see you laughing at me. But um, I hang out with, and you know, there's this thing called CatCon where they all get together. Oh, no. I would be going, but it's this weekend, and the Cleveland signing is this weekend, and I'd already signed up for it. But, like, there's a whole thing. Oh, face. So, there's a CatCon? I didn't know. It's called CatCon, and, like, um, there's all these big sponsors there, and that Nala cat, which I know her mom. And um, so all the famous cats are there, and I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> this is amazing. Right now, we're awesome. Awesome. I can live right now, we're like, there's famous cats. <laughs> like, what? You mean Grumpy Cat is the only cat I know that's famous? I know. Same. Same. There same. are a lot of famous cats. So my cat has, like, 8,000 followers, which is nothing. Um, like, a lot of my friends that I started with and – Cat world, they've got like 50,000, 100,000 followers for their cats. We need a podcast to cat. Wait, can we interview your cat? cat? (laughs) Like, true story. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. This is amazing. I need to go find this cat on on Instagram. Me too. You've got new fans. He's cute. Thank you. Okay. So. Now that we have your sweet and suck, um, we have- No, no, we don't have the suck. We don't have the suck, I'm sorry. What was your suck of the week? Uh, Well, that was a suck and a sweet together because I thought he had earmarked crazy and then he was fine. I told you. That was a good thing thing and a bad thing together. All right, so on to our Q&A. Elle, you're up first. Okay, Um, Jana, okay, so I know a little bit about how you came into the book world um, just from like following Julie and being a fan of hers for a bit. But I think maybe some of our viewers don't know and maybe Liv and Babs don't know. So do you mind telling us how it came about that you wrote your first book? So I, um, J.A. Haas, if you're familiar with her, um, she writes um, romantic suspense is mainly her focus. And I was her assistant for like the last couple years. And that was just, 
Um, I was like a crazy fan and found her on Facebook and was like, oh my God, can I help? You know, do you have a street team? I mean, this was like way back in the day when I didn't know how you got on street teams or even what they were, or any of that. And so, um, like we just hit it off, became her assistant and I would give her crazy ideas and, you know, get to read the arcs and all that kind of stuff. And I, I kept saying like, I want a dirty gynecologist book. Like you should write a dirty gynecologist book. And she was like, yeah, that's, that's not happening. Why don't you go do that yourself? <laughs> and so I was like, all right, I'm told it can be done. Like, I'm so sure this can be done. I'm just going to do it. And so I, I wrote it and hit publish pretty much how that went. Wow. And then like New York times, <laughs> which leads us into our second question. <laughs> and then it made New York times. Yeah. I, um, yeah, yeah, no. that's awesome. It's amazing. Like, I, my big goal was that I was going to make back the cost of, you know, editing and pictures. And, um, my cover was actually pretty cheap because Julie did, she's really good at graphics and she actually did the cover, but just, even you know how it is like even the $99 that you have to spend for the licensing right for that photo like at the time I was like I just want to cover my expenses and maybe have some money for Christmas left over at the end of this and then um it took off and did really well and made New York Times and it was amazing that is awesome okay so I'm gonna go next did you always know that you wanted to write no not no really I didn't um I probably have always like told myself stories in my head but I've never been a writer. I never, you know, wrote short stories. I was not one of those kids that wrote books and, um, you know, made that kind of stuff or no. So no. Okay. That makes um, this even more amazing. <laughs> when you told Julie that you wanted your dirty gynecologist, um, are the characters in your book inspired by people that you know, or in your life? No, definitely not. And actually I was, honestly afraid like people would think it was about me <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> but it was just so filthy like as I was writing it and I just kept thinking like no one's gonna read this just keep writing it it'll be okay and um I purposely made it in Philadelphia where I don't live because somehow that made sense to me like <laughs> I could disassociate with it and no one would think like I had sex with my gynecologist um <laughs> so, yeah that's how that went so you must know um, Philadelphia well. I'm just guessing only because, um, like in Everly's book, like I felt like I was there in the city. Mm -hmm. Like I could picture things really well. I've never been there, but I could picture it really well. And, and I actually thought, oh, I wonder if she's from Philly. Um, I had not even. I've been to Philly once, and I went actually between wrong and right. So I had been there by the time I wrote Everly's book uh, one time. I have a really good friend that lives there, and so I. Did everything really on Google and like map questing one location to the next so I could make sure that you know they were driving the right way or that you know how far of a walk it would be like I would look it up a map quest and it would tell me it was you know an eight minute walk and I'd be like okay that's that's doable um, and then I would verify with my friend just things like you know do people call it a highway or do they call it a tollway or how would you say that there you know that kind of stuff but no I wasn't actually that familiar with Philly Oh, well then awesome job. <laughs> Cause yeah. I totally, uh, I wonder if she, I think she must be from Philly. I was going to be like, Hey, I'm in Jersey. You want to meet for lunch? <laughs> but, I mean, you're all the way in Chicago. Train to Jersey or to New York is only like what an hour or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that far. Don't worry. I'll just be driving for like 20 hours, but I'll still come meet you guys for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Poor <Okay>. Babs. <laughs> Who's up next? So okay. Um, um, I wanted to go off script for a yeah. second. I had a question. So we we all like loved Everly, which I I fangirls to you in the PM on Facebook, but like we loved Everly. Like I think this is like one of the rare books where I loved the girl lead all like as much as I loved the guy lead, and maybe even a little bit more if that's possible, because I don't have lesbian tendencies. But I was really like, oh my god, I love <laughs> Everly so much. So I'm wondering where did the idea for like such a polarizing like funny, crazy girl, like Everly, where did that come from? Um, it mainly came from wrong. When I wrote wrong, I wasn't intending to write right. Um, so she was just the best friend character and the best friend character would be a little crazy and a little out there because you don't have to go that far with her, right? Like she's only there for comedic relief 
um, throughout the book. But then, you know, kind of halfway through, I started to really like her and think, well, she could have a story. It was because it was about that time. Um, if you read wrong, you know that it sounds like she's going to end up with this professor guy, Finn, right? Yeah. So it was kind of about halfway through that I realized there was no way she was ending up with Finn and that maybe she had a story, you know, which would become right. And so um, I guess she'd already been established at that point as kind of a nut. And so I just had to go with it. Um, so that's, I just kind of kept, and it's funny, like, I really love her too. And I think people either love her or, you know, when you look at the bad reviews, there's a couple people that are just like, she's a stalker. If she was a man, she'd be in jail. Oh. Like, she's happy in his keys. And I'm like, well, you know, it was just supposed to be fun. I mean, she's my spirit animal. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm like, I was reading it thinking I've done this many times. <laughs> that's why I loved her so much. I'm like. I, I, I clap her stalkerness because I I had friends in high school that told me I should work for the CIA because I was great at stalking boys. So I totally connected with her. I felt like her name should have been Liv. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I loved her. I thought she was a good time. And like, she wasn't, um, sometimes the heroines are so whiny. Yes. You know, she just was like, fuck it. Like, I own this. I'm going with it. Like, she was she was a lot of fun. Okay, so we do this thing called erection selection on our podcast where we cast who we saw as the book boyfriend while we're reading. Who is your Sawyer? Do you know what? I never do that. Like, I never really have a real vision. Even when I'm reading other people's books, I don't think. I don't know. I think it's like all the same hot guy in my head. David Gandy. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Gotcha. Or like a lot of times I'll just wait for, you know, someone to make a graphic and I'll be like, right. sure, that's my, my person too, or my Christian or whatever, you know, like I don't spend a lot of time thinking about that. Hmm. And who are some of your favorite book boyfriends that you've read? Um, Christian Gray. I'm like, a, I love 50 shades of gray. I know everyone doesn't. And I we love do. it. Love it. Yeah. Um, so Christian for sure. Um, Ford, who is one of, um, J.A. Huss's characters, love, actually, that's my last name. Aston is from her character. So that's where that whole, my name even came from. Another crazy tidbit for you. Um, well, and there's this whole conspiracy theory that, like, you and J.A. Huss are the same person, right? Yes, and I don't understand because we've been to so many events together. I'm like, I... Maybe people thought that the first month or two, but we've been like a whole bunch of places together. And also if you follow us both on Facebook, like you'd have to be literally insane to be able to do, like if I was actually her or she was me, like I don't, we talk to each other. Like how could you keep that up? <laughs> you'd be surprised. I know there's plenty of people who do that. Like That's I, a lot I, of work. I, I know. I mean, there's people out. who, isn't there like that big rumor that people go out with their pen names for lunch? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time I, for that. Even, yeah. No, there's no time for that. <laughs> I barely have time to keep up with my own crazy. Like, I can't, exactly. I can't create additional crazy now. Like, oh, did I shower today? Awesome. <laughs> High five. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on next? I am working on um, a little, I'm really slow. I'm working on a little novella for... Sandra and Gabe, who were in Right. Um, and then I'll have a, a full length story after that for Chloe and Boyd. Ooh. And our last question Where can people find out if they want to follow you on social media aside from the cat on Instagram? Um, find that cat. Regular Facebook, uh, Twitter. What else is there? I have a website. It's all under Jana Aston, so I think I'm pretty easy to find. Got it. And our last thing we do is our rapid fire questions, where we're just going to ask you one or the other, and you just pick whichever one comes um, to your mind first. Ready? Yes. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Heels or flats? Flats. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Cats or dogs? Cats. <laughs> Little black dress or yoga pants? Yoga pants. On a man, abs or biceps? Mm, abs. Chocolate or peanut butter? Chocolate. Lipstick or chapstick? Chapstick. Beach or city vacation? 
city vacation. Paperback or Kindle? Kindle. And that wraps it up. (laughs) Thank you so much for coming on with us. We really, really appreciate it. And we absolutely loved Right. And I know the uh, other girls are reading wrong at the moment, but we will get to that as well. Thank you so much for coming on with us, Jenna. Thank you for having me, guys. Right. Yeah, we, we appreciate it. Hopefully, we didn't take up too much of your time. No, not not at all. Thank you for okay. having me. Okay, we now have you, some more new cat followers. <laughs> <laughs> Go say hi to him. He'll he'll respond. <laughs> we will. Okay. Bye. Thanks for joining us. You can find out who will be on upcoming shows and what books we'll be discussing, as well as more about our hosts at www.bookboyfriendpodcast.com. See you next time when we add another boyfriend to the ranks.